Charlie Deuce, man, and I'm back with another vlog, man. Out here getting to it. Up at Zero Dark 30. Had my alarm set for 2 a.m. But that bitch didn't go off until 3 a.m. So I definitely got here later than I wanted to. I was supposed to be here at 6 in the, this morning. I got here at like 6.45. I don't know why I did that, man. Maybe the, the time change didn't happen until... I don't know. But I, I said it on my phone. I said it on my phone, so I was expecting the alarm to adjust for the time change. Like, go off at 2 a.m. regardless. It ain't go off until 3. So the only thing I can think of is that the time change happened at 2. So my alarm was set for 2 a.m. Time change which made it 3. But really my phone still thought it was 2. Maybe that's how I go. I don't know. Either way I was late. Get hit me up like oh so why weren't you on time for the on time delivery? So I explained to him with a quick message. Four and a half hours later. Seven days of fuel. Let's make sure they got everything off this bad boy. Yep, definitely need a trailer washout though. out later I'm gonna come up here and take a look at that and say data logger on it make sure that's not something they need up in here I ain't never seen that before all right give me a minute y'all I'll be back family is me I'm back it's the same vlog but it's a new day getting to a new dollar I'm here at Smithfield in uh, Milan Missouri I'm in a washout bay right now just getting checked in picking up a load of that nasty shit called pork <laughs> on my way to Wisconsin um, Somebody made a, a comment on one of my videos. I read it. Probably let me see if I can pull it up real fast before I get this green light. But it reminded me that I'm no longer a rookie in the game, fam. I'm no longer a rookie. How I consider it is one year in any game, you are no longer considered a rookie. So I made a year. Like this month, maybe right around this time of the month 10th 11th i want to say maybe even the eighth i remember it was right after my birthday i went to orientation for when i started with uh, paper transport all right so this guy says i was on the Hirschbach water account for blue triton ice mountain out of michigan late last year the company was okay great equipment the pay wasn't there for me, and the planners love to run every second of your clock. Shit. Um, 
other than that, it wasn't that bad to be honest. Dry van is better than reefer. I totally agree. I got the green light. And the family dollar account is $1,800 a week. Guaranteed, I would have to do that if I went back. All right, let me pull this back out a little bit, fam. Well, like I was saying, I forgot where I stopped, where I dropped off at. But um, I kind of agree with what Buddy was saying. I can definitely use more money with this. Um, but like I'm saying, I'm a year in the game right now with two different companies, Drive-In and Reefer. And I must say that I did Drive-In way better. People are telling me to get into more of the specialty stuff. And I may do that if I don't get my own truck. been bittersweet man i'm still unsure if this was a good career choice for me to get into especially at this time I'm unsure about that i guess i'll make a, a follow-up video about that you know sometime in the future as of right now i just need more money to be gone as long as i'm gone i ain't gonna complain because the whole point of me coming over here doing this lease, lease thing is just to get more acclimated to the business side of things for when I get my own truck. It's just a step a step closer um, you know, to that goal. I mean, the money ain't horrible, but it ain't that good neither. We pulling in $1,800 a week, guaranteed. That's some good coin right there. I definitely earned that more than that at times, but it's not consistently more than that. And I don't feel I can be home that long. Like, I need more home time. So we'll see how everything goes. We'll see what decisions I make in the future. And as you know, I will keep y'all posted when I make said move. I really do appreciate y'all rocking with me through the ups and downs, the different companies, the happy days, and the not so happy days. Thanks for rocking, man. Stay tuned. My load ain't ready, of course. Hate that shit. I was here on time, too. But that's why I was like, honestly, recently, I've been in a funk, man. I ain't been wanting to vlog. It's just I'm not I'm not happy where I am right now. You know, I'm kind of down about it, but um, why did I say that? I said that to say something. Oh, my damn load ain't ready. That's why I, more recently I ain't been rushing to these goddamn pickups and drop-offs. Hey, maybe that's not a good attitude to have, but that's just frustrating as fuck, man. It'll come get up all super early not get no good sleep to make it on time and then you get here you just gotta wait that happens more often times than it doesn't happen so that's why like kind of recently i've been on some i'll be there when i be there type shit and it's been working out for me i ain't even gonna lie like when i first came out i was like they wanted me to be there by nine o'clock in the morning for a dropping hook i got the phone call with i see you ain't head out yet where you at I'm like, nope, I didn't. I just got up. I didn't get to my truck till it was 9 o'clock. I made it all the way there, and I was able to pick up my load. No problems. Go figure. And the load was ready. I'm pretty sure if I got there at 9 o'clock, the load probably wasn't even ready. But anyway, I'm getting sent away. I got to go up the street to a, a truck stop and wait. All right, well, like I was saying, man, um, a whole year in the game a year in a few days and i must say i do like the career it definitely fits my personality me being kind of a loner kind of like introvert of six um, definitely fits me but you know this year this first year in the game has been rough like i knew it would be i was warned about it i watched a lot of videos when I was in trucking school, I went to Roadmaster, by the way. If y'all interested, holler at me. Let me get you on the list so I can, um, we can share in the money that I get. I forget how much that bonus is, but I definitely get a bonus and I'll share some of that with y'all. But anyway, um, I was definitely warned about the, 
about the industry, especially first year. You don't have a lot of options available, and the money ain't really there like that. So, um, and they wasn't lying. There's definitely some more money out here. There's definitely some more gigs out here after the first year. After two years, there's even more options, even more money available. Um, and therefore, every year after that, you just got more options and more money um, that you can potentially make. Different levels of home time. Um, so, with that said, I'm kind of excited for going into this next year because it's, it can't really go down. I guess it could go down from here, but I'm just like, motherfucker, I'm not... I'm not um I'm not dealing with nothing if I'm gonna be moving backwards. Maybe have to take a step back to go a step forward, but if I gotta take a step backwards, it's it's gotta be beneficial in other ways for me. So stay tuned for all that man. It's kinda unknown what the future holds, but I am positive about it. I got a good attitude about it. Um Yeah, that's it for the most part shit. Um, I really do appreciate y'all getting in the comments, especially y'all, y'all uh, veteran drivers out here. I appreciate y'all getting in the comments, sharing your wisdom with me and us, the other drivers that's watching and what, reading the comments. I really do appreciate that. Um, I'll be listening. Maybe I don't be listening fast enough, but I'll be listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, that's it for now. I'll pull this back out when I get that phone call, man. It is 8.20 right now. I got there a little bit before eight, so I've been around, say, about 30 minutes. Stay tuned. Uh, you gonna follow me throughout the whole day, man. We're gonna finish off the vlog, and you know, when I park for the evening. All right, I'll holler though. Y'all be cool, how y'all be cool, peace. All right, so I waited about 30 minutes, got that phone call, headed back up there, got the new trailer. Everything seems good. I don't even need fuel right away. And then as I'm doing my inspection, let's see if y'all can hear it on camera. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but it's definitely an air leak. If I feel like it's coming from that valve for the auto inflate, you know, going to the, the this rear tire right here, it could be the front, but I think it's the rear. So. Um, the closest loves, the closest shop to me is like over one is 45 minutes out out of my direction, 45 miles out of my direction, and another is about two and a half hours or something going in my direction. What I don't want to do is risk going to going to um, you know trying to make it there and then going through a scale. I do not need to get pulled over or go through a scale and get inspected because that will fuck me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get this tire fixed right there at the scale and I'm gonna get some type of a fine or ticket or whatever. So I'm gonna just wait. I believe the best thing to do is to wait for a road assist to send somebody out to me. And they said they would. So now I'm just waiting. Um, what y'all think about that? Let me see if I can step down here. I've been thinking about I've been thinking about getting me a CB. I'm not thinking about it, I'm for, for sure I am. But I've been trying to do a little research. And I saw a 29 LX at I don't know if it's a max, but 29 LX at the Loves for like 150, 160. But they also have the 29 LT something or another. I forgot. It's like this one's a little bit more expensive than the other Cobra that they have. So if y'all know anything about y'all know anything about these things, let me know. I don't want to have to make multiple purchases right behind each other. So I'd rather just get something good that's you know that's decent. And I'll go from there. It's looking like I don't know if those those are for the radio or not or if it's for the cb so if y'all know anything about these antennas let me know what y'all think that's for hopefully it's for the cb but i could be wrong i see a lot of people mounting their shit to here so i don't know but uh yeah man let me know give me some of y'all expertise and advice 
I'll be sitting here waiting probably for a few hours. No hell. So stay tuned, man. I'll pull this back out shortly. Hit that like button. I'll be back. It's three hours later, fam. Look who's pulling up. Man, I hope this is a fast uh, situation. I really would like to make my appointment time, but if it needs to be changed, it will. As of right now, I'm still I'm still good to be able to make it. So let's see how long these mods take. Ah oh, man, boy, I fell asleep in some more here. Oh, I woke up and I see this mod pulling up. I'll be back. It's a couple hours later, fam. I don't know what type of progress has been done. She been in and out, you know, from up underneath the trailer. Took a wheel off. Hubcap. <laughs> now she on the phone. Before that, she was looking real dejected. She must be uh, confused or a little angry about something. I ain't been out there to ask her. So I'm not my goddamn business. I don't know damn about what's going on back there. Trick daddy boys. I'll holler later. Keep y'all informed. It's after two o'clock now, man. I've been here since after nine, in between nine and 10, maybe closer to 10. Well, killing my day. Honestly, I still got time to make it on time, so we'll see. Stay tuned, bro.